To draw this old English sheepdog, you're going to need a pencil, an eraser, and a black pen. Woohoo! Let's get started. We're going to start off our old English sheepdog with a circle, which is going to be the head. Just a rough circle, draw it very lightly in pencil. So you can draw around something like a glass or a large coin or anything that you can find that's round. Or if you like, you can do my tutorial on how to draw a circle freehand, which I'll put a link in the description below. So there we go. That's my very rough circle, just something like that. Now I'm going to be drawing an oval shape just below the circle, touching this one. So just a little oval shape, squished circle, just like this. It's not going to be quite as wide as the circle. I'm just making it just ever so slightly more narrow. But again, it doesn't matter. Just do what you can. And these are just preparatory guidelines, so they don't have to be perfect. Next, I'm going to be drawing a big circle to the left hand side. This is going to be the main part of the body. The circle is going to finish just a little bit below this circle here. So I'm just going to do like a little rough guideline there so that I know where I'm going. And just doing a circle freehand. Just like this. Remember, if I go too quickly, just hit pause and rewind. You've turned up today, you're doing so well. So congratulate yourself on that. It's really good. Showed up. Just stick it out to the end. Okay, so there we have our circles and our oval. Now we're going to join up the head to the body area. I'm going to do that by just drawing a curved line from this circle to that circle. Now I'm going to join up this one to that one with a little curved line coming down here. Now to add the feet, well the paws really. So a line coming down here, just straight down. Another one just at a slight angle, just like this. And then we're just going to do like a big boot. It looks like a like a boot shape, something like that. Okay, then we're going to draw a shape that looks like this. Just follow what I'm doing and it goes upward. It's going to be the other paw. Now, starting just here, we're going to come down and we're going to be drawing the front paws and then coming down here, we're going to be just drawing the front part of that one. And then here, the other front one. This one's slightly higher up. There we go. And now, right in the center of this circle, we're going to add the nose. So, just a little circle there. And the tongue, which is going to look like this. There we go. Okay, I'm going to switch to this pen, but please carry on in pencil. It's just so that you can see it better on camera. So we're going to start off with this fluffy head. So I'm going to draw a line just coming down like this. And these little lines coming out like that, all the way further down than this circle at the top to about there. We're going to do the same on the other side. So I'm doing another one coming out like this. And then the same coming down. So the old English sheepdog isn't that old and it's possibly not English. So the breed's only a few hundred years old. So I'm just drawing this all coming down here. I'm then going to follow this guideline here to carry on. And this is all just fur coming all the way down here. So it originated in the southwest of England to drive cattle and sheep to market. So it wasn't necessarily to herd sheep. And then the breed may have been developed from the Scottish bearded collie or the Russian of Charka. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. Apologies if I didn't. So what I'm doing at the moment, I'm just following these preparatory lines I did before by using these little dashes here. So I'm going to carry on with these dashes going upwards to where it meets that circle. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to do the other little foot again, just using dashes these little kind of sketchy lines just to show that it's really, really super furry. I'm then going to carry on following this oval shape that I did before and then go upwards here. Now I'm going to focus on the muzzle area. So I'm going to be drawing the nose. So put 
in the nostrils. I'm going to kind of colour it in, but not that much. Just like that. There we go. And then for the lip, top lip. It's like this, it has like a little moustache. And then the little tongue that's sticking out. Like this. And then part of the tongue's in darkness, so I'm gonna color it in, just like so. There we go. Add a bit more fur around the mouth, just like that. Now it's got so much fur that you can't actually see the eyes. So we're just gonna show that the fur's coming over the eyes, just here. And then the same on the other side. Just like that. I'm gonna add a few more little sketchy lines just to show where the fur's going. Going upwards like this, and a little bit going upwards like this. Now we're going to continue with the back area. So I'm just gonna go underneath the top of this circle here. And I'm carrying on with these long sketchy lines. Can you see that? Down and up, down and up, just like that. And then they get slightly shorter as I go down because the fur's a little bit shorter down here, just till I get to the bottom of that paw. I'm gonna carry on doing that. So just here, I'm going to be doing some longer lines for the legs coming all the way down. And then we're going to draw the paw is covered in fur. So its fur is actually a thick double coat which is waterproof and insulating so it helps in like cold weather. Right we're now going to do the tummy so long lines, long lines all next to each other parallel coming all the way until we touch that bit. Now for last but not least, the other paw. There we go. Now I'm going to raise all the pencil lines, but if you haven't gone over it in pen yet, go over it in pen and then erase all the pencil lines. Okay, now that we've erased all the pencil lines, we can add some detail. So just underneath the tongue, we're going to be drawing, my pen decides to work, <laughs> some fur coming downwards. We're gonna make this area a little bit darker tends to get a little bit dirtier where it's been eating food. So I'm just gonna draw a little bit darker around here and underneath these areas. So this section's all in gray. So what we're going to do, we're just going to use these lines. I'm just going to kind of draw the outline. So I'm coming down here, going up. And then in the direction of the growth of the fur, I'm gonna do those long lines like we did before. So they're just long wispy lines like this. And we're just doing them quite far apart up here, but then when we progress to the areas which are darker, I'm gonna do a lot more of them. So I'm taking care to do it in the direction of the growth, which is like that. So just follow what I'm doing here. Sometimes it can help if you've got a pen that's kind of running out a little bit because it gives it a kind of um, more sketchy feel. You see what I mean? So there we go. So the coat of the Old English Sheepdog requires a lot of grooming apparently. About three to four hours a week is recommended to groom your dog. That seems like a lot. I don't actually own a dog, so dog owners, if anybody's got an Old English Sheepdog, let me know in the comments section below how long it takes you to groom your dog each week. And tell me the name of your dog as well. I'd be interested to hear. I love it when people come up with original and creative names for their pets. I was very creative. When I was a kid, I used to have a stick and set called Sticky. Then I got a bit more creative when I got older. We called her Mystique. And um, 
Yeah, we had lots and lots of stick and sticks. Right, okay, almost finished this. So as you can see, I'm going upwards here. That area is going round. So it's a little bit darker on the underbelly here. So I'm just going over it again. And also I'm just gonna add a little bit of shadow to this other pore that's in the background. I'm just drawing some diagonal lines there. And the same to this one here. A little bit less to that one because it's white. There we go, I'm just gonna add a couple of little dashes here just to show that it's super fairy. Super furry, not fairy. There we go. And again, here. And then also on this part. Just adding a few dashes here and there just to give the impression of fur. We don't have to go over it all again, just in a couple of areas because this is all white, so we don't want to kind of color it in too much. Just gonna do a little bit more on the back here. Trying to make a good distinction between this area and the white area. So I'm just going over it a little bit more, make it a little bit darker. It's the way I work, I always work in layers so that you know, you can start off lighter and then keep on adding, whereas you can't do it the other way around. If you start off heavy, then you just can't go backwards. Well, it's a lot harder to go backwards. Okay, now I'm going to add some ground so it doesn't look like this old English sheepdog's floating around. I'm just going to add a little bit more shading just around here. And there we have our finished Old English Sheepdog. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then don't forget to hit subscribe and like and check out this video. It's a whole series of dog tutorials. You're gonna absolutely love it. Bye.